Joe has been a patient of mine for 15 years. I typically see him on an annual basis for checkups and the occasional run-in with poison oak. During one of his visits for a scrape on his head from clearing brush at his house, he stated that recently he had been urinating more than normal. As Joe had both a family history of diabetes and a personal history of colon cancer, I ordered a blood chemistry panel, re-ran a PSA test, and performed a physical examination. The physical exam was inconclusive, so I waited for the results of the blood work to come back. All of his blood chemistry work was normal, with the most noticeable change being in his PSA levels, which came back elevated but within the normal range. I contacted Joe and shared the results with him and asked if he had noticed any other changes to his health. He said that the frequent urination was still present and that he was noticing some pain as well. At that point, I suggested a pelvic x-ray to Joe, which he scheduled for the next day. The x-ray came back with indications of prostate cancer. I contacted Dr. Gingrich via direct message, including the x-ray, and requested a consultation regarding Joe's condition. Once Dr. Richardson clicks send, her message is encrypted using the digital certificate assigned to her account ensuring the security and fidelity of the message she's sending to Dr. Gingrich. After her message is encrypted, it is sent using the INEX HISP services to Dr. Gingrich's direct message inbox, where it sits, encrypted, until Dr. Gingrich decides to read the message. When Dr. Gingrich goes to his direct inbox and clicks on the message to view it, the message is decrypted using the digital certificate assigned to Dr. Gingrich's account. Using INEX HISP services, direct messages can also be sent to email clients such as Outlook and Thunderbird, EHRs where their contents can be converted and stored within the patient's record, PHR platforms such as Microsoft Health Vault, and to other HISPs. I received a direct message from Dr. Richardson referring a patient of hers to my practice, Joe. Uh, Joe is a 72-year-old male with a history of other types of cancer. Dr. Richardson suspected prostate cancer and requested a confirmation of the diagnosis. As part of the request, Dr. Richardson sent along an x-ray of Joe's pelvis. Prior to contacting Joe, I reviewed the film. Once my review is complete, I had my office staff schedule an appointment with Joe. Upon further examination and testing, I confirmed Dr. Richardson's diagnosis. After discussing the diagnosis and treatment options with Joe, we worked with his oncologist and developed a treatment plan. I sent the diagnosis and treatment plan back to Dr. Richardson via a direct message so she would have a complete record of Joe's encounter with me. Once Dr. Gingrich had made his diagnosis of Joe's condition, he called me to let me know what he had found. He let me know that he was in contact with Joe's oncologist and that they would be developing a treatment plan. I thanked him for the phone call and the update on Joe. He also told me that he would be sending me a direct message with a summary of Joe's diagnosis and treatment plan for me to include in Joe's file. As Joe's primary care provider 15 years, it is critical for me to have all of Joe's information collected so that when he comes in for an annual exam or other office visit, I know the current status of Joe's health and the other providers that he's seen especially from conditions that need to be managed closely. When Joe next visits me, I'll be able to inquire about his cancer treatment, how he's holding up physically and psychologically, make sure that any other health issues are addressed, and be able to coordinate with Dr. Gingrich and Joe's oncologist if something in Joe's treatment needs to be adjusted.